Hello everybody and welcome to another Let's Try, this time with Third Front. Um, it's a it's a World War II grand strategy game and a full disclaimer first, I have been gifted the key by the developer. So this is not sponsored content, but I did get the game for free. Do keep that in the back of your mind when you see my opinion. Um, it is a it is blind, I haven't played the game yet. And I did ask on my Discord which faction to play and Germany won the vote, so we are going to play one game as Germany. Um, you get to pick between the USSR, do, do, uh, Germany and the Allies. So we're going to play a game as Germany. At least you have arrived over Gruppenfuhrer, the enemy is already at the gates of Berlin. People demand the most decisive action from you. Um, we'll go to the Central District. You can improve your economy. The most important building is Central District. Um, the most important building is Central District. Reichstag, Ministry of Industry. Okay, we'll go to the army. In total, you have four types of military units. Each type has its own unique characteristics. Okay, we're hiring infantry. Okay, so these are available infantry squads. Each of them has three main parameters, number, damage, and ammunition. I'm assuming that by number it means strength, and I'm assuming this is its HP. As well as the effectiveness of the attack against other units. That must be this, so we'll the Romanian infantry is 75% effective um, against other infantry. So I'm assuming that means it does 75% of its damage against that, 100 against this, obviously not against airplanes, 75% against ships, and 25% against buildings? Alright. Um, first, form one unit of SS Sturmbrigade, it confronts the enemy. It confronts the infantry of the enemy quite well, but it's completely ineffective against aviation, well, obviously. Um, the correct choice of units is main key to victory, even if your army is huge, you can't win without a properly chosen tactic. Now let's construct tanks. Fine. We are buying a VK30.1P. Never heard of it, but I'm sure it's a great tank. Comrade General, our scouts just reported that soon our city will be attacked. There is no way to retreat. Retreat, the capital is behind us. Intelligence reports that the enemy withdrew from this region. A lot of troops to strengthen the blockade of another city. It's time to strike back and weaken the enemy. Oh, we are 1st of April 1945, so the war is basically over at this point. I'm assuming this is just the tutorial. Okay, detach. This is the enemy. These are the two we just built. Um, this is our detachment. Let's look at the strength and weaknesses of the unit. As we can see, our infantry inflicts good damage on infantry, enemy infantry. Alright. To battle. Okay, so we've shot them. While our enemy is discouraged by our swift attack, it is necessary to strike again and consolidate our progress. Let's attack Regensburg. Alright, let's do it. Give the order to attack. Yeah, but, okay, so, suffered small losses. Actually, I don't think he suffered any. And now it won't be difficult for our tanks to destroy the enemy. All right. Okay, but now we lost a uh, unit. Now, the main thing is not to stop at what has been achieved and step by step go to complete victory. Don't forget that our enemy is also moving and that the enemy will be regularly strive to win back our territories, build fortifications in the conquered cities, develop the economy, and so on. All right. Basically, we need to expand. Okay, so these give a little bit of money. That's nice. We got some money up there. Um, let's see if we can hire some more. We cannot. All right, so we really are at the end of the war, and Germany is basically defeated. Yeah, look, look at these huge armies. I'm, I'm not convinced of how I'm supposed to win this. Like, just look at this. Um, sure, let's try. Um, okay, so this is we can improve our units. Fairly cheap, actually. We can improve our cities. Um, we can hire divisions. We can again improve divisions. 
All right. Not sure what the difference is between this and the academy, but okay. We can improve our fortifications and diversions. And we can improve the rice talk and the Ministry of Industry. I like the idea of getting more money. Yeah, we're gonna do all of this. Also, I probably want to build basic defenses in Berlin. And I'll try to take this. Um, he's doing well against infantry, so he should more or less deal with this one. And he's doing well against tanks, so he should be pretty well against this. Alright, I think I understand it. Works, worked perfectly. Worked perfectly. I'm very proud of myself. We have just liberated. Let's use the word liberated, but be careful here. Wolfsburg. Actually, I don't think that's where Wolfsburg is. I Wait, something's off with this map. Okay, so north has to be here. The m it's weird. The map looks tilted this way, but Italy kind of doesn't. Italy kind of doesn't look... It looks like this is north, right? With England and France and Germany going this way. Just Italy kind of doesn't look that way. Actually, Turkey doesn't really look that way either. But Spain does. And... Actually, there's a lot wrong with this map. Munich and Constance are not in the Alps. Neither is Strasbourg for... And Strasbourg isn't south of Stuttgart. And Stuttgart wouldn't be here, it would be somewhere here. Even if we take the tilted map and take this as Germany, Stuttgart would be somewhere here. And Strasbourg would have to be here somewhere. And is this supposed to be Vienna? Vienna would have to be somewhere around here. And also Vienna um, should be called Vienna, not Wein. I don't know what kind of language th this is. Um, but this is... <laughs> I, I don't know the language because in German or Austrian or whatever you want to call it, um, this would be called Wien, meaning W-I-E-N. And in English it's obviously Vienna, so... I don't know, I don't know, but this map is, it seems very, very off. There's something very wrong with this map. Okay. <laughs> oh, but, but, Turkey's in the war? I mean, okay, I, I guess, I, I think it joined at, the, like, the very end of the war, it did join. So, yeah, that's actually fine. Um, sure, let's do the next attack. Can we do Munich? No. Prague. No. We can do Hanover. Let's do Hanover. Um, we're gonna do what we just did and hope that this works. Um, so, none of these people, like, like this huge army, actually this isn't that big of an army, but this huge army um, isn't going to have to Wait, they have ships? How do they have ships in uh, ships in lots? <laughs> Where are these ships? Oh, there's also ships in Prague. There's ships in Prague. All right, all right. The, the big naval, but they have ships in Kassel. Oh, but they don't have any in Bremen or Hamburg, because obviously, why would you have some at the coast, right? Obviously, they're all in Lutz. That's, that's where your marine has to be. Okay. Um, sure, let's... Actually, I don't think... I think I need three. Let's build some more units, but I think I need more money for that. Um, not enough resources. Right, it's 70,000 to build them. Wait, am I seeing this correctly, that my parachute division is 100% effective against airplanes? What, are they parachuting out of the airplanes and 
they, wh like while they're flying down on the parachute, they're shooting at other airplanes. Um, oh, the SS Sturm Brigade is also 50% um, effective against airplanes and 50% against ships. I don't think I'm reading this correctly. The Romanian Infantry Division is 75% effective against ships. Also, why can I recruit Romanian infantry? Romania is part of the Soviet Union at this point. Mm. I think I'm just gonna let some time pass because um, I needed 50,000, no, 70,000 of both. So let's have some time pass. Oh. Unfortunately, our soldiers couldn't hold back the onslaught of the enemy. One of the cities surrendered to the enemy. Then we captured Wolfsburg. This, I, I think the developer forgot to translate this. Um, all right, um, but we can we can hire some infantry. We already have this one, so let's get some of this, I guess. Actually. I kind of want to undo that, but I don't think there's an undo button. I kind of want to... How much does an airplane cost? Oh, it costs the same. It literally costs the same. And Navy. It also costs exactly the same. Okay. It also has exactly the same strength and... Um, wait. Strength, 3,320. Let's take any ship, it doesn't matter. And 3,200. Okay, it's slightly less damage. Actually, it's just less damage, yes. This also is more damage. Oh, this is the most damage, actually, and the most strength. For some reason, airplanes can take more of a pounding than ships can. Okay. Um, so, what? Oh, Wolfsburg, we need to take it back. Oh, they have a ship. Do you do some damage to ships? Okay, let's try this. You count as infantry, okay. They have cavalry and a gun good class battleship. Oh, they, <laughs> they have a battleship in Wolfsburg. <laughs> the place furthest from the water in all of Europe, probably. And they have a battleship here. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair enough. It's very good against infantry, but it cannot do anything against my tank, if I see that correctly. And you just fight each other. <laughs> Okay, my, my tank got destroyed. That, that's fair. <laughs> and my infantry just destroyed this um, battleship. The next defense of the city was a failure of our troops. The next defense of the city was a failure of our troops. Okay, so the enemy has taken Regensburg, but we've taken Wolfsburg back. We need to build defenses. Let's build some defenses everywhere. Uh, we already have some here. Let's build some defenses here. Actually, let's also upgrade them. And try to retake this, maybe? Let, let's see if we can. So, you go here. You cannot attack them. Um, sure, let's do this. Yeah, you cannot. Okay, we need to retreat. Um, there's an... <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't know what I just clicked on. Detach of intelligence, platoon of intelligence. Okay, so I'm scouting, I guess. Ooh, money. A map. Um, <laughs> Congratulations, you have successfully found all the diversionists and secret dispatches that will help you in the future battles, but perhaps there are still hidden deposits of resources left in this area. Alright, I think we did good. I think we did good. Um, let's see if we can win this. 
Oh no, that's the battle we've already lost. Damn it. Um, let's retreat. Let's try to get some aviation, maybe. Let's just let the time go. Our troops managed to our troops managed to protect the borders once again. Wait, I'm getting this literally every time. One of my countries is being attacked. One of my um, areas. And this isn't translated. This this pop up got to pop up like a thousand times over that game uh, playthrough, right? H how did the developer m miss to translate this? <laughs> okay, let's buy an airplane. Uh, we got a bomber Henschel HS 129, a bomber Fokker Wolf 191, and a Fokker Wolf uh, 190. This is a fighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I'm adding all the percentages, this one adds to 175, this one comes to 200, and this one comes to 250. So I'm just going to buy one of these. Seems the, the smartest move to me. Mm. Okay, we can't attack here. Do I have something that's good against ships? Not really, not really. We'll still try, we'll still try. What, what do we have to lose, right? For some reason, I'm always getting back my um, unit cards. Like, units never appear to be actually destroyed. I don't get to fight defensive battles, if I'm seeing it correctly, and in attack battles, I'm always getting my units back. So basically, I'm creating an ever-growing army here. My army will constantly get bigger, no matter what I do. Which I guess is one way of balancing. Um, I kind of want to buy this. It costs 50,000, but it produces... How much do I earn? Um, 0 0.4 thousand. So that would be 400. So 200 would be a huge increase. That would be hugely... A huge increase. It, that would be like half my country right now just by buying that. I think I want to buy that. Um, with such ex excellent protection, our people are not afraid of any enemy. Read the comments of the head of the army in the new issue of the newspaper. Okay. Does that mean... I, I, I don't know what this is trying to tell me. Um, let's buy this. Okay, so I need to improve. Okay, okay. Um, so basically for every building that I build, I need to improve the city. One more. That's okay. Uh, it costs 500,000. Are you kidding me? Um, there wasn't a, again, this... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you couldn't find the enemy diversionist and he managed to escape, but the most unpleasant thing is that he will now keep the low profile and most likely will escape unnoticed. According to our reconnaissance data, this region will be receiving fines from the diversionist's actions for a couple of days. Alright. I mean... Alright. Um... I think I need more things that can kill infantry. There appears to be a lot of infantry around here. <laughs> can, can we buy a ship that's good? There is a ship that's good against infantry. Let's get this one. Um, I, I, I want to buy this. Um, wait. How do the command points work? I'm actually not sure how command points work here. Okay, okay. So now I have 50 and I need the resources to build. Okay, may makes somewhat sense. Somewhat. Um, let's just get some money. Our troops managed to protect the borders once again. Awesome. Oop, I think it's safe there. Let's 
get some infantry that's good against infantry. I, guess. I already have infantry that's good against infantry. Let's get a ship. I want to build a ship. Um, you good, sir? And we're going to use it in... Wait, did we lose regions again? No. Right? Oh, we... we I, I didn't buy... It. My ship can't fight ships. I've, uh, unfortunately, aircraft carriers are completely useless in naval battles, apparently. <laughs> Wait, no. Can you please go here? Oh, but my tanks are very good at naval battles. Um, <laughs> and my Romanian infantry is just incredible. It, it can fight anything. There's nothing a Romanian man with a rifle cannot murder. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I want to increase my economy at this point. More money is always good, right? Increase the squad's ammunition by five. Oh, it's just for one. I don't think we've ever run out of ammunition. But this is ammunition, okay. Um, sure. Use your MG to shoot down the fighter bulletin pole defiant. Which, by the way, clips out of here. It's funny because when it's attacking, it doesn't clip out, but now it's clipping out. Oh, I didn't have any attack. Let's use my fighter against this fighter. See, now it's not clipping. <laughs> I'm I, I, I'm still amazed by the fact that Constance is south of the Alps. It's south of the Alps, and Munich is in the Alps, as is Strasbourg. That is, that is amazing. And again, I, I'm pretty sure this area uh, direction here would be north. So that would literally make Bonn, which also isn't spelled like this, but Bonn, west of Stuttgart. That's <laughs> that's amazing. Um, yeah, we're re we're beating the quests. Um, no, I, I'm sorry, I I have to ho hop on this again. If you're making a game that's literally like whose entire graphics is basically a map of Europe, you have to know what the map of Europe looks like. And even if you don't, looking at a map takes you five minutes and you would have known that this is not how it works. This is... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm all right. Also, this... Is, yeah, okay. Um, let's do this. Um, our tank will take this tanker. He's very good at tanking. And our infantry will kill infantry, I guess. Actually, let's use our carrier here. I don't think there's a problem with me losing any units. Citizens, the enemy is coming. Don't give up quickly. Join the war effort. The enemy captured castle. Okay, the enemy has taken castle. That's annoying. I guess we'll just retake it. Yeah, we'll retake it. Hmm... My army is lacking something that's good against tanks. Um, I need to... Uh, no tanks, against ships. I need to get something good against ships. Um, are you good against ships? <laughs> yeah, again, nothing a Romanian guy with a gun can't beat. I'm still not sure what these things do. Oh, I found the enemy. Nah, let's finish. Um, we got quite a bit of money here. Could get another tank. I think I want to get a ship to fight ships. That, that makes sense in my head. I, I don't know. I, this game seems to not agree, but it makes sense in my head. Let's fight for Schwerin, I guess. Oh, there's pillboxes and something. Chain of check, check hedgehogs? Wait, hedgehogs? I don't think the word means what you think it means. Um, you go here, you go here, you go here, and I guess you go here? Actually, I think my fighter is better at this. It wasn't good enough. You go here? <laughs> yeah, we killed all the hedgehogs with all. Um, can I... Oh, I can do it from here. Hmm... Why can't I build shops? Oh, because I need 50,000 of this resource. So, no. Oh, no, I can't because I need... Yeah, I need a city where it isn't. 
Okay. I'm making quite a lot of money now. I'm actually happy with that. Let's go for Regensburg. Increases damage to the enemy flotilla. Wait. To the end, but I'm marking mine? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And. Dum. We did not really do anything to this pill box. No, we've destroyed it. <coughs> Very good. Very good. The enemy captured Wolfsburg. Citizens, the enemy is coming. Oh, from Nuremberg, he attacked Wolfsburg. That's actually annoying. They are capturing way too much. Um, let's take those two. By the way, I'm gonna run this a little bit longer because these kinds of games need a little bit more time. Usually, I only do like twenty minute, uh, twenty to thirty minutes, but um, I'm gonna let this run a little bit longer because I don't feel like we've seen enough of the game yet. So um, I'm not going to make a second episode, I'm just going to make this a slightly longer video. And then we're going to see all we need to see, I'm sure. I mean, basically I'm understanding the game at this point. So we're going to go here now. Uh, you go here, you go here, you go here, and you go here. Oh, there's still 10 HP left, but he doesn't have ammunition, but now he has ammunition again. Magically. He got ammunition. Oh, I just realized um, how it works. So, if I look at my army, so this unit does 20 damage and he has 15 ammunition, so he does a t maximum damage of um, about 3000. Because it's the damage time, that, like he shoots all his ammunition, basically. I get it. Um, I can get one more. I'm not sure what the enemy has too much of, but I can hire one more of these. So, I don't have one of these yet, so let's get one. I think I want to upgrade my defense. Cannot upgrade this. Oh, I need four more regions. Now I can hire another aircraft. Let's get a bomber. Uh, sure. W what else is here? Oh, there's a fighter, Messerschmitt. A fighter that is absolutely terrible at fighting aircraft. But that's very good at fighting fortifications. Because sure. Sure. <laughs> this, this is a fighter that only does 25% of its damage to aircraft. Okay. Um, we already have a fighter, so let's get this bomber. I don't know. Um, let's try this. You're good against infantry. The parachute division is extremely good against, <laughs> against aircraft. <laughs> um, we'll use... You against you, you against that, <laughs> you against that because the Romanian guy can just kill everything. Okay, to battle. Let's see how this goes. Um, he's good against that, he's good against that, he's good against that. Oh, he's still standing with 10 HP. Can I do this? Yeah, I do zero damage against him. That's weird. <laughs> My aircra fighter aircraft is extremely good at destroying any uh, fortification, but it cannot do a single point of damage to the enemy tanks. Um, I really want to get uh, defenses in all my cities. Okay, they're, they're quite expensive though. Anyway, let's get D Dortmund. I don't know if I can take this. There's a lot of trenches and whatnot. Do I have a lot against trench? You, 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 you a bit. You, you, you. I think we can do this. Mm, let you go here. You go here. You go here. I mean, how is a trench with a minefield 
um, any kind of, like how does it 50% against chips? How, how does a minefield help against chips? Um, you go here, you go here, you go here. Let's see what happens. You go here, you go here. <laughs> I love my Romanian guys. It's just a guy with a single shot rifle and he takes down everything. Oh, they've taken Dresden. Wait, but Dresden did have defenses. Sure, let's take Stuttgart. Mm. Wait, we have fighters. Let's use my fighter here. Let's not look at what they are said to be good at. Let's use them against what I would use them against. You obviously have to go against this thing. I would probably send my infantry to take out a self-propelled gun. I would try to bomb this infantry division. I, I guess my infantry can fight another infantry. Let's go like this. Oh wow, we've gotten destroyed here. Um, I'm sure you can do this, you can do this, and I guess I'm gonna use the ship against them. It's weird that you can use ships everywhere. It's weird that there's ships in Munich. Th th there's a ship in Munich! I don't even think Munich is on a river. I mean, the, the there is a tiny, tiny river, but um, it only goes like this, I think, and... Okay, like, even on this map, there's no river. I mean, obviously, Munich is at the wrong place. Um, <laughs> Munich should be somewhere like here-ish, but there's also not a river. Like, ah, how is there a ship? Um, wait, the population of my country is two million people. Like, I've almost, I've almost taken all of Germany. Also, why are these huge armies not doing anything? I mean, the enemy from time to time takes an area, but do keep in mind that Berlin was surrounded. Why are you guys just standing there? And the big problem is because my units... Like, I just keep getting more units, right? And the enemy obviously has completely randomized units. It's not like this army that's standing here is moving into Berlin, taking it. But basically a dice is thrown and I'm losing some country or I'm not losing some country, but that's obviously how it works, right? Um, like if I speed it up, I'm getting money and at some point the enemy will magical attack. See, the enemy captured Schwerin, but unfortunately our soldiers couldn't hold. But basically it was a dice roll and um, that's how I lost it or I won it. Well, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I could have defended it, but basically there is a timer in the background and at the end of the timer the enemy attacks. Uh, one of my, I'm guessing one of the border provinces. I, I assume that the enemy can't attack, I don't know, castle right now. Though probably he can with, I don't know, ships. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm fighting no enemy, but I'm fighting the clock. I need to take territories quicker then the timer in the background takes them from me, basically. That's, if I'm seeing it correctly, that is the game I'm playing right now. And basically, by building defenses, I can increase this timer. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. So let's build defenses everywhere. At least the basic ones. Okay, up, oh, there was one. So now we got basic defenses everywhere. Let's see if we can now hold off the enemy. I mean, we are early in the game, so I would assume we can do it. Um, let's build some of these, because why not? We can actually wait to get a little bit more. Yeah, now we should, we do have quite the income, right? Yeah, we have quite a lot of income now. It's Okay, even with a basic defense, um, I'm still losing regions. <laughs> I'm not even sure what what, what it does. Um, all right, I I can improve my units. All right, it costs twenty five k per. 
Oh, damage plus 14, strength plus 20. But that's not a whole lot of improvement. Actually, I think I've got an academy. This is way cheaper. But I don't know what this means. I'm a... S oh, okay. I've increased my damage by 300 and I've increased my... No, my life. I mean, now I've increased my damage by 35. That's, again, not a lot, but this is way cheaper. Like, I think everything I just did was cheaper than one of the upgrades I did on the other one. So, sure, let's do this. I'm not sure why I can't do this level 5 thing. Not sure, not sure. Anyway, let's do another battle. Mm, sure, let's take Amsterdam. I think we attacked Amsterdam. You go here, you go here. I'm just putting it wherever it says 100%. Um, that seems to be all the strategy required. Here we go. Yes, we've won. Since I don't actually take losses, um, that seems fine. And this here it seems to give me these bonus cards we've had before. And I think all I need to do is find that paratrooper guy. We didn't. Okay. There's another one. This is extremely boring. I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to say things like that, but... I don't feel like this is gameplay. Oh, there he is. We got him. Nice. The next defense of the city was a failure for our troops. Again, very badly translated and this part isn't translated. And we've again lost Hamburg, which again had defenses. Actually, no, it is as improved as I can. I don't know why I cannot improve it further, but I cannot. So sure, let's take Hamburg back. Um, I wonder... Because we've built things in Hamburg, if that still is there. Or if we've lost whatever we've built. We're gonna find out. Again, there is zero challenge to the game. Um, obviously, the enemies aren't getting stronger. I'm still fighting uh, the same sizes of enemies, approximately. Actually, they are getting stronger, but they are getting stronger at the same rate as me. I wonder if it's... This... I mean, these are extremely hard battles. There's always these hard battles, and then there's easier battles and whatnot um, to choose from. So we can attack here, and this is a victory. Um... I'm, I've understood the game. I have understood the game. I understand what I have to do. The problem is I don't think there's going to be fun doing it. Because this is just a grind at this point. Um, I don't think we can lose it. I don't think there is a way of losing it unless I go to three times speed and just wait for the eye to take everything. Because again, I can click here and make incredible amounts of money. Okay, we've lost Wolfsburg. Let's just wait. Look at the money. Okay, now we've lost three. But it's just a time. Like, every four days or so, I'm losing one territory. And one battle is one day, so basically I'm... Um, it takes one day to battle. So as long as I attack two times in four days, uh, we're winning. <laughs> and we're getting unlimited money, which I can use to hire more troops. So now let's get this one, I guess just diversified a bit. Okay, I can't actually hire more troops now. Oh, I need to capture four regions. Okay, so I need to capture four regions now. And um, then I can hire more troops again. But my army just gets bigger because I can never lose units. I never lose units. So my army only gets bigger and I get more powerful. So I don't think there is a way of me to actually lose this. Um, it's just a grind. It's, it's literally just a grind. Um, it's basically this kind of battle where you always just click on them 
and you put them where they're the most useful. It's all you do. Um, actually, let's do one big battle and see what happens if we lose one. Uh, maybe not this big. Maybe like this. It was shown as one of the harder battles. So let's do one of the hard battles. Um, the remaining guy with the, the gun. Still rocking it. Totally rocking it. Wait, I think we're actually gonna win this. Hmm... <laughs> Yep, zero, one hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> I, I think we're gonna lose just to this one tank because none of my units are good at attacking. No, he he took it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, it's just a grind. Um, the upgrades are extremely simple. Let's do this. I mean, I actually like this simplified upgrade system, let's call it, um, for the cities. I wish they'd be more likely to defend themselves, I guess. Because <laughs> that's going to slightly reduce the amount of grind required. Um, okay, but, but now we're making about 2,000 per hour. We're making about 2,000 per hour? For real? Yeah, apparently. Um, sure, let's take square in. The first five shots will only deal 70%, 75% damage to your squad. I did not see what it changed. Um, let's do this, 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 this. Again, I, I was throwing away units here, but it doesn't matter because they don't die. It, basically, the fact that you can never lose units takes away... Okay, the enemy captured Hamburg. That's what I mean with the grind. It's... I'm not gonna lie, I'm already somewhat bored, and we are 40 minutes into the game. Um, I've just used my bombers to destroy the enemy fighters. Um, I feel like I want to reach my final verdict at this point. Um, I like the idea. I mean, not every game has to be in Hearts of Iron of complexity. Um, but this is very, 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 very basic. And um, has a lot of buttons, like I can improve here, and I can improve um, here. I don't know why I can't improve this, it, the game doesn't tell me. It has this little, this little mini game here. Um, it, it, it does have that. Yeah, finish. Um, it has economy that you can build up here and defenses that you can build up here. And you have the building here. But in the end, I mean, let's face it, none of this really matters. What, oh, it takes two turns to build, okay. None of this really matters, right? Um, because at the end, what the game is, is you click on here, you click on here, and um, then you click on this and click where it says 100%. That's literally the game. Um, and as long as you do this often enough, you grow. Like, quick enough um, per day. Because every four days or so, you lose the territory again. Which makes it even feel even worse. It feels extremely grindy because of that. Um, there's not a whole lot of love going into the game. As you can tell from the fact that 
this our country, our territory has been conquered message um, has not been translated, even though it pops up like every couple of seconds, every few seconds it pops up by the fact that I'm fighting um, battleships in Munich, by the fact that the cities are at the wrong places. Um, it just feels like there's not a whole lot of love um, gone into the game. I do like the art. I do like these pictures. Um, they are very beautiful. Um, Again, this doesn't fit in here in a chain of check hedgehogs. I'm not sure what it's even trying to tell me. Um, it only fits when it's attacking and so on. It, it's weird. Um, I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm not convinced. I do i've now played it for 45 minutes and i feel like i've seen everything i feel like literally the rest of the game is going to be me clicking on things and building it also i've read i've kept out on money can i spend it on something i can um i can buy all the upgrades but i cannot buy this one it doesn't tell me why it just says it's locked it says level five but i don't think i have anything level four so like i don't think i have a level four building no, uh, this was level 3 and these were level 2. No, everything was level 2. Okay, I've increased everything. Can now buy additional units. Oh no, I, I still can't. Oh, because there's 70 command points. And I only have 60 left. <laughs> Who made this? Oh, but I can get another infantry. Um, it's the yeah, it's the same here. It's the same here. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you, get, you guys see what I mean. It's going to be more of this. And the game is not expensive. Let's not forget that it's an 8 euro game. It's not a triple A game. It's not from the biggest developer ever. We shouldn't forget about that. But um, I think if we're a small developer, <laughs> we, we've lost Dragonsburg. I, it feels like um, the Greek fable of Sisyphus, where he has to roll up the stone, the hill, and whenever he um, reaches the top, the uh, stone rolls down again. I mean, okay, we, we can buy more defenses. We can buy defenses everywhere. Um, at this point, we're basically swimming in money, so that wouldn't be a problem. But again, what for? What for? It it definitely, it, very, it most definitely is a grind. Um, I'm still amazed by all of, by, by this map. Again, here's north, north, quite obviously here's north. But that means that Berlin would have to be here. Dresden, would have, Dresden obviously is, in this picture, is right, it, it is inside of Poland. It's exactly south of Gdansk, which, um, uh, <laughs> which is Poland. It's, ah. Uh, Let's actually start the other. Um, let's start the other campaign. Um, oh, if you start another campaign, please let me skip the tutorial. It's the exact same tutorial. Oh, but they did make extra pic. They made special pictures for this. That's okay. I do enjoy that. Um, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you you do. No, you don't get full resources back. God damn it! I probably just lost the game. Wait. But this is 1942. Why is Spain on the side of the axis, and why is Turkey on the side of the axis, and why is Sweden on the side of the axis? Now I want. But but they did they did make pictures for the units. I actually do enjoy that. Light tank corpse, light aircraft. Yeah, that is cute. Um, let's start at the uh, as the English. Um, we'll skip the tutorial. Win nineteen forty. S 
So basically Sea Lion succeeded and we have been reduced to London. Which is interesting because apparently um, when Germany took all of England, um, they decided not to take London. Because obviously they came from the north via the Arctis. They have decided to invade England via the North Pole. Um, again, why are these countries... Why, why does all of Africa belong to Germany in 1940? Actually, I just bought infantry, but why would I ever not buy tanks if I can? They literally cost the same and they do more damage. Way more damage. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not impressed and I would not recommend this game. Um, I'm not saying it's badly made, I'm just saying it's it's not actually fun. It's, it's just a grind, it's just a never-ending grind of doing this. Um, zero, 50. Hey, we'll probably lose this battle. Yeah, because he doesn't do any damage to him. Finish the battle, sure. Because he can he can kill ships, and the ship. Let's actually try this. Um, it looks like the ship cannot do that much damage to me, and I can do all the damage to him. So I don't know why I died. I do not understand why I just died, but that's okay. I can live with that. Okay, so again, I will. <laughs> You've seen, you've seen what I've seen, and I don't think this is a game I will be coming back to. I still want to thank the developer for the key. Um, greatly appreciate it, but this is not a game for me. Have a great evening, everyone, and or a great day, depending on whatever time you're watching this. I don't, I don't know why I felt like I had to say evening there. Have a great one, everyone. Bye bye.